Here's the Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, on AT&T and checked for updates recently and saw that there was a update for Android 5.1.1 and once you went to download it and install it, it says that the install failed. Keep watching this video and I'll give you a couple tips to help you get the uh, update to actually work and function. Alright, so if you've gone in and tried one or more times to check for updates and found out that you had the update available for 5.1.1 and went through the whole download process, which takes a little bit of time, and you go to install it and it reboots to the phone and then says gets to 0% and says failed, uh, possibly a couple of issues, uh, main ones that ha help me get it to work on my phone. First, you want to go into... Your storage, go to where it says cache data, and where it says clear cache data, say OK, and that'll free up quite a bit of space on my phone, it is close to 4 gigabytes, uh, but you want to make sure that you have enough space available, which probably, you want at least 2 gigs down here where it says available space, and once that's done, you also want to go into, and if you have a, um, a launcher other than TouchWiz, I'm going to go in and disable that. So you come down to Fall Applications. Tap on that. Go to the launcher. Home here. And choose TouchWiz Home. And then basically back out. And then you want to go and attempt to install the update again. And if you go to the update and it says, oh, you have to wait. 24 or 48 hours or some amount of time to uh, wait to download the uh, update again. All you have to do is come here to date and time. Click on that under settings. And where it says automatic date and time, unclick that or uncheck that by clicking on it. Click set date and just move the date up a day or two. Whatever. If it says 24, move it up a day or you just be careful and just do three days or something like that. That's what I did. And then back out again, go back up to uh, my device, go to software updates, and click check for updates. It should find again and start downloading it. And once it's downloaded it, go uh, allow it to run, It'll reboot your phone, and then should actually go through and finish the, the install. And then your phone should be up to date, just like mine is here, with Android version 5.1.1. Nope. Hopefully you found this video useful and uh, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.